Hi, my name's Craig Petty, and I'm super excited. I just finished my at the table lecture. And before I do this, sorry, I should point out there's nothing in my pocket. There is nothing See? in his pocket. Pocket's empty. So grab a number card for me. I'll have that one. I'm going to take the phone, and at the tips of the fingers, I'm going to put the phone into my pocket. Just there. Perfect. Now, this phone is going to find your card. Just say stop. Stop. Perfect. Put the card back. So the whole idea is when most magicians do card tricks, they shuffle the card and they try and find the card. I don't have to do that. Like I said, this app is voice activated. All I have to do is say out loud, find the card. That's all I have to do. Find the card. Yeah, I felt it vibrate. It worked. Look at this. Nothing in my hand, in my pocket, with the phone, one card and one card only. And it's actually your card. But you know what? There's one other function with this phone. You can actually take that card and you can actually have it go into the phone. Not on top of the phone, not underneath the phone, in phone, inside the phone. Let me show you. Hold your hand out for me. I'm going to put the phone there. I'm going to put the card down in the middle. What I want you to do is just cover up the phone so I can't get to it. No way I can cheat now, right? Fair? No way you can cheat. Watch this. Watch this. Inside the phone. It's done. Lift up your hand. I know you think I'm kidding. I'm not. Not on top, not underneath, inside. Look, check this. <laughs> underneath the screen of the phone, there's one card and one card only. And that would be your card. I know you don't believe me. The only way that I can prove it is to pull it out. Take that card, unfold it, show it to everybody. It can't be. Could it be? It is. There. So here's the thing. If you guys are into commercial magic that looks unbelievable, this is the project for you. We'll take this one. Perfect stuff. Okay, so just say stop. Stop. Wonderful. Can you put the card back there? So what would you say? About uh, 20 or 30 cards down? Something like Give that. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to take half the cards face down and I'm going to shuffle half the cards face up into half the cards face down. There's a technical term for this, it's called a mess. And as I push these cards together, you can see that there's face up cards being pushed into face down cards. And as I continue to, uh, there you go, you can see that they're all mixed up there. I'm going to sort them out in one second and find your card. Watch this, one second. Here we go. Done. I'm, I'm not kidding. Let's have a look. You see, hopefully, if I've done this right, every single card is facing the right way. Uh, but hopefully, if I have done this right, every single card but your card, I want you to tell me if you see your card. Because there is one card face down. I want you to see this. All of these cards face up. One card and one card only face down. Hold your hand out for me. Don't turn it over just yet. For the first time, tell me what was the name of your card. My name card was the Ten of Clubs. Turn it over. Have a look. The Ten of Clubs. There's another three tens in here. If I could take the deck with one hand, and I could shuffle the deck with one hand, and with one hand I could find those other three cards, would that be good? That would be amazing. But with this hand over here. Brilliant. There's some stuff that happens in the spectator's hands that will blow you away. There's some routines, there's some mind reading routines with coins. You can use this pen uh, to actually make coins appear. It stores coins inside the pen. See, so if I take the pen and tap like this, uh, when I tap the pen right there onto my hand, what happens is it actually makes a coin appear. That's not a normal coin. Hold your hand out. That's an American silver half dollar. I'll do that again. Every single time I tap the pen against the hand, I actually make an American silver half dollar <laughs> appear. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to keep doing it till you like it. Look, I just tap like that. And when I do, I can make an American silver half dollar appear. The weird thing is if I rub the coin, it turns into the pen, and the pen's up there. The coin's over there where the pen was. We'll get rid of the pen for a second. So I'll tell, tell you what we'll do. So we'll, we'll see if we can go one step further. I'm going to try and um, well watch this. I'm going to take all three coins and I'm just going to put the pen here like this. And when I do, all three coins go inside the pen. They're actually in there. They're probably here. All three coins inside the pen. Cut your hands together for me. You see, they're actually in there. You can't see them until I take the lid off and just <coughs> shake them out. You see, they're inside the lid. Guys, some of my best material is on this project, and I know whether you're a hobbyist, a professional, a semi-professional, or just somebody who's into magic, this is going to be the thing that you are going to use, I promise.